You, you know, it's kind of sad. We're on the last episode of Air Ride Mode and Kirby Air Ride. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Anyhow, I'm kind of glad to be done with Air Ride Mode. And then we could do City Trial Mode one last time. So, hey, everybody. This is the second to last episode of Kirby Air Ride. Unless something time goes attack. horribly wrong, we're going to do Time Attack Magma Flows. Let's see. 304. Okay. I'm going to do it on Shadow Star to get that down to 315. Okay. And this is the arty plays for stuff. Stuff. <laughs> and I do nothing hour. That's you said you didn't want to think because you just finished the practice ACT. Oh my exam. gosh. I have so much respect for people who are good at math and like math. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. I ugh. I'm fine. It'll be fine. You know? Oh, yes. oh, you that. Nope. That's fine. It'll be fine. If you can at just... least, at least I raised a few of my scores. Like yeah. I was doing practice. That's all you can hope for, really. Yeah. I just realized Bird because he's basically yeah. the same speed. I feel like the right. dumb one in our family, though. You're not. I'm... We're well, all I smart. Totally, I totally have the lower score, though. It's nah, your reading score is pretty darn good, and I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna board out what she got in the score for each one. But I was impressed with your reading score. Okay, well, because that, that was, was the one I had. The that was the one time with. For me, I don't know what it is with math. I'm not bad at math because I'm actually doing really well. I'm doing like calculus this year. Wait, and, like, are you? Yeah. You're doing pre-calculus. Pre-calculus. Not calculus. It's almost calculus. Anyway, no, maybe sure. that's just my the one about my math. <laughs> my but, my pre-calc book had nothing to do with calculus at all. What? Then why do they call it pre-calc? They should just because call it because it's what you have to take before you can take calculus. They should just call it like math for after algebra. <laughs> That's what they should call it. Gee, anyway, I don't, I don't wonder why that hasn't caught on. Oh, no, it's a great name. Anyway, but, like, I'm, I'm doing decently in math. Like, I get good grades, that kind of thing. Yeah. But I just can never raise that score. Like, I'm always stuck at one score versus, like, my English and reading. It is a strict time limit to only have one minute per problem. It's stupid. It takes me forever to do, I like, I wish three it was not a, I wish it wasn't a time limit exam. I don't know, but at the same time, it might be like, well, you have no excuse, you just are dumb. Well, math is you know it or you don't. If you don't understand how to do certain problems, you can't do those problems. Right. It's not like a research oh, paper yeah. where you can kind of fudge it a little. I think the thing that's annoying... Oh, yeah, research papers you can totally fudge. Because... <laughs> really? Neither of us are going to play. Well, I can't speak for Marty, but I'm not planning on going into research at all. So. No, me either. But literally, the writing exam... <laughs> The ACT is so easy. I was really afraid. I was like, shoot, it's gonna be super hard prompt, and they gave me like the easiest prompt ever, and I was able to write it in 45 minutes. But I'm also How much good time at writing. Do they have give you for that? 45 minutes. Okay. So they'll be like, here's your prompt, do whatever. You have 45 minutes to complete like a five paragraph complete essay. Mm -hmm. But I'm also really good at writing, and I've actually like won a comp competitive writing challenge thing. So that wasn't hard for me, and I, I felt satisfied with that, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that, actually. I forget that. That would be something to boast about on a resume. If you uh, apply for a job. I, I won, won a writing. You could literally say you won an award for your writing. Yeah. I got, I got money. It was pretty good. So, oh, you won the Pulitzer? Well, no. no. It was like the spelling bee. But... It wasn't a spelling bee, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it actually hey, was I have, re I have respect for people who can do well in the spelling bees. Have you seen, like, super competitive spelling bees? They're insane. No, but it's I remember... It's like, spell this word school. that nobody's ever heard in their entire life. It's like, okay, easy. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Right. Well, but once you practice spelling a lot, and once you are comfortable with the language that you are spelling words in, then you can kind of have an idea of, like, okay, if it's this word, I know the sound is going to be, like, a P. Wait, I didn't do it? What? Wasn't it, wasn't it free 35? 320. 315. Oh, wow, and I just didn't even do that one. And 304. That, no, that's fine. I know exactly, because I lost a lot of time by swallowing the birds. And probably me discussing No, nope, you had nothing to do with it. It was me <laughs> swallowing birds, which don't make me go any faster yeah. when I'm on Shadow Star. I'm trying to think, though, because um, I apparently I think globally. What Do they have the same kind of like ACT, SAT type of deal in like the other parts of the world. I know they, they have, have standardized I know they tests. have the equivalent of standardized tests and stuff, but I don't know if there's like, hey, this specific I know means test will determine your future. Oh, yeah. I know they have oh, that in France. They have that in France. They also have that in China. They have that in Korea. 
Um, Actually, I think just Asian countries in general tend to have like the. Crimes a generalization, but yeah, really. sure. But like, I know, I know. You said uh, Korea has that. Oh, Chi China, super competitive. China absolutely has that. It's called the Gao Kao. Gao Kao. Okay. I know France has that. Um. I feel yeah, so I bad didn't... for those high schoolers. Me too. Like, I. They li they literally don't have lives outside of academics, right. which is awful. Which for is them. awful. Well, and that's the thing for like the ACT, where it's like, let's say for whatever reason you don't get such a great grade, like you still there's so many things that they haven't tested on that test that you're like, maybe I'm really artsy and I yeah. can draw really well or whatever. And in that case, like you so getting to a good college or making a career of yourself is not really about tests and more about like your portfolio or your well, sure. actual artwork and like how you do with competitions and stuff. Same thing with music. Same thing with um. I'm trying to think of another. Real. Yeah, I know. Uh, same thing with, like, if you're a performer, like, and you want to do vocal performance or something, like, it's kind of hard that, like, one test just kind of determines all of that, even yep. if you're super ta talented. Right, because I know, at least in China, the only ones they do are Chinese, English, math, and then either science or social science. Social science? Social science is, like, ugh. That sucks. Wait, so it's Chinese and English? Those are two different parts of the test. Oh, they want I wonder. Them to learn English really right. Well as well. I wonder if the English is like really hard for um, people who speak English or not. Like uh, if it's like probably. if it's like you need to know this crazy word and like uh, because I've heard because at one point uh, in my life I really wanted to work at Nintendo and I was like, oh hey, maybe I can be a translator because I know Japanese. And the tests that you have to complete in order to work at Nintendo are insane. Especially if you want a program. Like, good luck getting into Nintendo. Yeah, they have, I'm... like, three or four crazy tests. Oh, yeah. That's I'm trying why to think I... what they had. That's why I'd much rather go into the indie development scene. Right. But, like, they had, um, they had a mathematics test. They had sure. a essay test. You had to write about a specific ongoing problem in Japanese culture. And it was all in kanji, so like. Why luck. would you have to write an essay to get a program? I don't know. It I've may be it that. may be for different types of I don't know. Maybe it's because you have to work in Japanese and they want to make sure you're eloquent enough, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe. And they had an English test, which, uh, like, if you spoke English, you'd be okay probably, but it was still difficult. Japanese test. Um, Come on, Darko. Did they have a? You could have finished it to get the 320. Yeah, but I have to get the 315 eventually. Okay. You could have gotten it, but you didn't. That is correct, I didn't. It will save me a few seconds in the hole. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's gonna help. That's really quick. Um, but yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be doing translation at Nintendo. I don't think that's gonna happen. Not for Nintendo, but you could be a translator in like a lot of other places. Sure. I might do that. I'm not It's always positive. nice to be fluent in two languages. Yeah. I, I well, wish I was more fluent. I'm not fluent. In Spanish. Absolutely not fluent. I know the basics of Spanish and it'll get me by so I can be like, right. uh, donde esta el baño. <laughs> Good job. That's what everyone needs to know in their language. Um, yeah. And you can sing yeah. the abuela chocolate song. Yes! Bate, bate, chocolate. That's the, the best. Please don't. Yeah. I'm going to get copyright infringement on the video for you. You did such a good impression I'm such a of good job. Chocolate. No, chocolate. I did not sound good enough at all. But anyway, um. Oh, yeah, that's uh, a lot better. I was going to say something. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Before I interrupted you, sorry about that. No, it's fine. About translation? No. Oh, Japanese. Like, I, I've talked to people in Japanese before, and they're like, wow, you're totally fluent. I've taken maybe three years of it. I feel like after three good. years of a class, no. you should be fluent. Nope, not fluent. The problem is, I haven't really immersed myself and been able to speak it all the time. So, like, I'd speak it in class, and I'd speak it to my teacher and to my peers, but outside of class, there really wasn't an easy way. It's not way. like a daily practice. It's not a daily practice, exactly. So there's a lot of things where it's like, yeah, I know how to say lots of words, or I know how to write all of the hiragana and katakana, but kanji, I'm terrible at, so I can't read a newspaper. That sucks. Um, Watch Studio Ghibli to help you out. I've done that. Um, in Japanese, I did. I think they did that for Up on Poppy Hill. But it's not as funny, so like, why even bother? Uh, 
I've started watching anime without subtitles sometimes, and that's. I mean, you don't really need. You, all you need to know is like, oh, they're screaming now. <laughs> no. <laughs> sometimes there's very deep animes that have very um, hard to translate topics, and so sometimes I'll be like, wait, I need to turn this back. Oh, on. there's one Phoenix Wright, at least one Phoenix Wright like case that they didn't translate just because it's literally impossible to translate in English. Oh, I wonder if it's like, yeah. There's a few things even in anime where it's like, oh yeah, this specific... It was, um, like a column type of thing almost in Japanese, but you could not actually translate it to English. It didn't make any sense at all. Mm -hmm. So they're just like, they literally just put numbers on the screen like, uh, you didn't hear anything, nope, nope. And is that because there are certain words in Japanese that can't be translated to English, or certain, certain cultural... certain words and cultural ideas as well. Okay. Um, that can't really be translated as easily. Um, and the way that they go about textbooks sometimes. Uh, or there's some words where it's like it translates, but it doesn't sound right. Like, I know there's a word that's like, Natsukashi, and it's it's supposed to be like, oh, Wow, that's so nostalgic. But, like, you don't ever say that All right, in fine, English. I'll get 320 for your um, Yeah, or it, it could be like, Oh, this brings back so many memories. Oh, alternate magma flows music. Nice. Okay. Well, you can get maybe alternate music. Um, but it doesn't always translate perfectly. Sort of like if you were to translate English into another language, sometimes it's like, oh, this is slang. Slang oh, does yeah. not translate very well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Nor do swear words, apparently. Because <laughs> I do know how to swear in Japanese. That's I know. This is going to sound really weird to be like, Artie, how do you know this? Uh, like, all the only German words I really know are swear words from the 1940s. Okay. <laughs> and that's because I had to read a book called The Book Thief, which, amazing oh, book, by the way. I've heard of that book, actually. Amazing book, super depressing, so don't, okay. because it's about World War II, obviously. Oh, nope, never mind. But it's that. a really unique book where, like, the whole thing is animated by death. Like, the, but he's not, like, the Grim Reaper. He's literally just basically a guy whose job it is to carry souls to the afterlife. Okay. So that's really interesting, and they swear a whole bunch of that. Okay. In German. In German. Okay. And death like is literally like for those of you who don't understand German, this word means this. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Yeah, death is a very interesting character where like he's like, I don't like my job, but like someone has to do it. Yeah. So like they, spoiler alert, if you if you want to read the book and you don't know how World War II ends, spoilers of us, the whole main town. You of, don't know how World War II ends. So go the, back to the, school. The entire main village uh, that the main girl lives in gets blown up at the end. Not by the Nazis, but by the, uh, allies. Okay. And she's literally the only survivor. Oh. And, like, it basically one of the last scenes is Death just walking through, like, taking everyone to the afterlife. And, like, as he's walking through her house, he takes extra care to step on Hitler's portrait as he goes through. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> oh, I... That's... That's interesting to say the least. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not a big book reader, and I, I kind of want to fix that. Oh, I'm not either. You read more books than me. Not really. Last okay. time I read a book for fun that I hadn't read before, I can't even remember. Okay, for me, my friends will be like, you need to read this book, because um, in high school, I feel like my friends are all of like the artsy, write, writing, reader type of people. Like, they want to make their own books and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I am not a reader at all. So, I have, a few, I have a few books I like. I really like Tower of Moving Castle. I really like the Harry Potter series. Mm -hmm. But there was a bunch of books where it's like, unless if it truly interests me, like, and I'm like, wow, this is just hooking me, like, this is so cool, I'm not gonna like the book. Yep, that's me and, too, where, like, if I really get gripped on a book, like, I'm like, I can't put it down. Yeah, and then, like, 90% of the books I have to read for school, it's just, Are really like, bad! Do like, you want to read Macbeth? I mean, that's a okay, better Macbeth book. Okay, Macbeth is a good Macbeth, book. Like, Macbeth is a bit better than some other ones. It's got more action, and it's not... Macbeth is a great Shakespeare character. But it's like the Odyssey or the Iliad. Those were some of the better books I had to read. But oh, then there's things like, oh, Where the Red Fern Grows. I didn't oh. have to read that. Is that the one about the dogs that you had to read? No. That... Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Never mind. I did read that book. Yeah, it's like, I don't, was... I don't want uh, any books about, sad books about animals. Me either. But it was also just like, I don't know. Nice job. And I almost reset before the second lap was over. And I'm like, no, I'll keep going. That's right. You keep going. We need one more. There's the 304, The right? Silver Branch is probably the worst book I've ever read. I've heard of it. Don't read it. Because I think you told me Don't how bad it was. Read it. Okay. Mm. 
Um, yeah, time attack on Machine Passageway, okay. I'm gonna try Time Attack on Frozen Hill. So. Okay. You know what I've realized for books? What? I, if I read a book, I want to laugh. Or I want to, like, really be immersed in, like, a magical world. Yep. Which is why I either read comic books, Are you saying manga, with movies? or, um, like, a really good book if I manage to find one. How do I view lab records? Movies are the same thing, yeah. I don't want to watch a sad movie. I have friends who are like, oh my gosh, I saw this amazing, depressing movie. Or, like, creepy movie. Like, what? what is that, um, cannibalism movie? Like Silence of the Lambs Silence or whatever. Silence of the Lambs, my, yeah. One of my friends was obsessed with that movie. She's like, it's so good. I'm like... I've heard it's really good, but I I don't care how good like, it is. I, there are some things I don't want to watch. I was like, I don't really want to watch, like... Grotesque violence is up, definitely up there. Grotesque violence and nudity I don't want to watch in my movies. The only... Which is why yeah. I don't watch Game of Thrones, even though people are... It's amazing. I'm like, no, I the don't The only reason that. I would be, like, okay with nudity is if it's, like... Um, this sounds really weird, like, cultural nudity. I don't want to see, like anything bad but if it's like hey we're at this hot spring or whatever like i no I just give know. me the earthbound hot spring where they'll put on baby trees <laughs> thank you yeah again, i don't care if it's not culturally again, totally accurate cultural... i don't care about cultural accuracy when it comes to people being like okay, i really don't. sure sure and i i don't really either i can take it or leave it it's just more like oh yeah <laughs> and i know people in other countries are all oh, americans they hate nudity but they don't mind violence and I don't like violence. I don't like violence either. That's like one of the reasons I why I, I pretty, pretty much will never Star Wars movies. Those weren't super violent. No, but they were just like. Eh. They were darker than. Well, to they, an extent. they weren't. I feel like that's the thing with Star Wars. It's like it's serious, but it's always got that like one or two characters that's like makes oh, it thank happy. Oh, goodness, you're here, Deputy Mario. <laughs> exactly. But thank like, goodness, you're here, Jar Jar Oh my Binks. gosh, yeah. Not, not Jar Jar Binks. I'm thinking more like the droids, like C-3PO or R2-D2, or like Han Solo and Chewie. 3PO is annoying in Return uh, Empire Strikes Back, though. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, though, I really liked. Because it, I don't know, it didn't feel super serious. <laughs> Even though it was. But part of it is Compared probably, New yeah. New A Hope. New A Hope. Par probably part of it, though, is that I watched it years after the others had come out, and I knew it was going to end well. So Even though it has a... Oh yeah, the whole series is going to end well. The, uh, well, yeah. I like these new ones, I'm just like, I don't know. It's one of those where like I don't like Rey, and I don't know why. I don't like how Finn was not in the new one that just came out. Or he, he's he in, was. He just wasn't doing much. I didn't like I didn't like that new girl. Rose? Was her name Rose or Ruth? Rose. Rose. Yeah, she was, she was kind of annoying. Wow. Um, I, I, I mean, I really liked Last Jedi, and I think that, even though a lot of people were like, that is a disgrace to Star Wars, people thought the same thing about Empire Strikes Back when it first came out. They were like, this is nothing like the original, this is terrible. Last Jedi is going to be remembered fondly. Probably. And keep, remember, people, there's still another movie in the trilogy. Yeah. I think that's probably half of it, is I was just kind of like, really? We're making another trilogy? I don't know. Like in, oh yeah, I, Disney's got a milk all the money they can I'm a firm believer in franchises. that. Like, the this uh, new one it's is good. Be tight. This new one's good with um, Last Jedi and um, mm -hmm. whatever on. else. I can't remember the name of the first one. Force Awakens. Force Awakens. Yes. Um, half a second. I thought it'd be pretty good. Yeah. But in the first place, it should not exist. Okay, opinion. that's what you think. That's okay. what, like, it, it's good, but it absolutely should not exist if um, mm. the first six were done. I don't know. I also didn't watch, like, Clone Wars or that other show. Rogue. Oh, I saw Rogue One. Rogue, Rogue One? One was good. I actually kind of liked that. Even though it was sad. I didn't like how depressing it was, but that droid had me laughing. Oh, yeah. It was, it was one of the best characters. It was serious, series. but they were like, this is how you shoot a Wampa. And, you know, like, they're. <laughs> I don't remember that part. It's really. not a part, but but it's like it it was serious, but it knew when to be funny. Okay. The whole I'm with the force and the force is with me. I was like, what is this? It was great. Yeah. That, that wasn't was, like a funny part of the movie. No, but it, yeah, some of it was just weird, I, but it was also. That's a like. I felt like half the characters in that did not get any development. Like there was the one it guy. I don't even remember movie. the guy's name. He literally like his personality was he has a big. Oh yeah. Well, I don't even remember. You know his name. why? It's because it's one movie. 
if they had, and Star Wars is known for like, well, we don't know who this person is, right? The, like, Rose right now has like zero personality, but she'll probably get more in the next one. I don't know, what, what did she do? She's smart. That's her personality. She's like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like, you know. I, I guess my, my biggest complaint of Last Jedi is I'm like, the whole Finn and Rose subplot didn't have any impact on it. Yeah, I didn't like it. Because literally like, at the I, end, it's like, oh, that was stupid of them to do. Thankfully, they all made it, or thankfully, they didn't all get destroyed. Oh, man. Yeah, that was probably my other reason. I was just like, you know. Finn. Also, the weird DJ guy. Like, who the bleep is this guy? DJ? And the weird, like, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a code breaker guy. Who was, like, randomly in jail. And oh, then randomly yeah. has a key to get out of jail. It's like, why were you in jail? If I you forgot get out of jail. about him. I actually but, blocked that out. But my thing is, I bet he'll come back in the next yeah. movie and it'll make him have more. Or it right. could just be the Boba Fett. So, of I think it's the same thing with Fantastic Beasts. I think I like the movie. I actually like Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, I can't talk. Fantastic Beasts more than these new Star Wars. But in it, I think in its, it should not exist. I'm just glad that it wasn't like a fictional encyclopedia movie. Yeah, it wasn't. What? Why would they give it the same name then? That's what I want to know. Because it's about it, it, it Fantastic Beasts. It's about his case, you know, all that. Yeah, but give it a different name so it won't confuse people. Right. But, like, I firmly believe, like, I love this movie, but, like, it should not exist. Just because of... I feel like Harry Potter and Star Wars are definitely becoming cash franchises. Cash money, gold mine. Exactly. Uh, Star Wars in particular, it's like, oh, they have, like, two free TV shows. They're already announcing, like, two trilogies to come out they have a new. One. They have it's a like, new hotel and stuff going in the Disney park. I, that They're gonna I have that new section. Much. Right. But it's like, yeah, Disney's definitely like, we own Star Wars! Did you know that? <laughs> oh, you will! <laughs> <laughs> you will know. Especially after it becomes a Bikini Hearts free, maybe. The even funnier thing was when I was talking to some of my nerdy friends come on, about come on. it. Come on, come on, what? Yes. When I was talking to my nerdy friends about it, they were like, well, I read all of the co the books, and it doesn't line up with the book yeah, trilogy. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Disney because... has said that those aren't canon. Right. Uh, that's okay. what I was saying. So we have four left. Okay, I know which ones we're checking out. So, all right, we're going to do Checker Knights now. Okay. Swallow over 20 enemies and take, them, uh, take first place. I get to move. Sorry. I get to move. Yes, you do. Sorry Shock. if you... Oh, jeez. You can do it, Game Disc. We only have, like, one episode left. <laughs> one episode after this. Come on, Kirby. Kirby, 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 Kirby. Kirby. That's the game you should play. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Kirby, Kirby he's stop. here to stay. Yeah. Kirby. Yeah, Kirby. Uh, I, I love Weedy Scooter, and I don't use it much. So you have to swallow 20 enemies and take first place? You want Swallow to... over 20 enemies and take first place. And what helps is to swallow the garbage enemies. They don't give you powers. Right. I'm just gonna go real slow. Where are all the garbage enemies? That's what I'm saying. Oh, here's some other. I've swallowed one? two. I swallowed one. Three. Four. Two. Three. Four. Five. Eleven. This is the 
12. 12, 13, 14. There's one up here. 15, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna let you finish this. 16. There's one up here just hanging out. Can you hear me? 17. 18. Twenty. Twenty-one. Cool. Now, as long as I went first, we shall be. Hey, we just go just a little bit. Totally kick butt. So one thing we could do if there are tornado guys, we uh, there's a tornado challenge: destroy 15 enemies and finish in first place with the tornado. Okay. Good thing there's no time limits on these 20 or more enemies. That would be really stupid. It would be. Inhale them enemies. There's not. Remember, I have to do one. Great. I can't hit these speed boosts anyway. That's the only thing that kind of sucks. Swallow over 20 enemies and finish oh. in first place. We only have one more to do. Yeah. Okay, We're what's the to, other one? Uh, it's the tornado challenge. So we have defeat over 15 enemies as Tornado Kirby and finish in first place. Hit 20 or more rivals with a quick spin. And then the time attack on machine passageway with Rex Wheelie. Perfect. Are we not going to do quick spin? Honestly, I think tornado challenge on Beanstark Park. Beanstark Park. Beanstark. Uh... Actually, car I'm gonna be wheelie scooter again. I'm gonna be birdie, because we're never birdie. We're also never bulk, but I don't see why you have to do that. Oh uh, yeah, well, that's because it sucks. Birdie doesn't, like, I've noticed we're always, like, one of three stars. Swerve that's stars? That's because we really, that's because we really like them. But the fun thing about Kirby Your Ride is everyone has a different... Um, everyone hates style. Bulk Star. Right, Bulk Star kind of sucks. But everyone has a different style of how they like to race and how they like their cars to turn and all that kind of stuff. And each Kirby Air Ride vehicle is different like that. That is, is true. But some of them are just flat out better than others. Yes, very true. For example, they're, they're perfecting to get to the Mario Kart status of like, pick your wheels, pick everything. If only we could get another Kirby Air Ride. Honestly, if they could make Kirby Air Ride, which had. More courses and better courses, and way better city trial. Like, imagine how just, just ditch top ride. Nobody liked it. I mean, top ride was fun occasionally, right? but I'm I was never like, oh, I'm in the mood to play top ride. We've done that like once, but I think it was to unlock a bunch of things. Right. No tornadoes, but tornadoes appear on the second ride. I'm a bird! Woo! I'm a snake! Oreo. Oreo. I got taken. I don't even know if this is quicker or not. I don't think Ferris wheel is quicker. It's more fun. Okay, I know there are wind to get there, tornado enemies. 
lost that only on time. I'm going up here. Sleep. Bomb. This weird mic. Yeah, I don't see any. I oh, see there's a tornado one. guy really far back. Here we go. You do your thing. I'm gonna just fall off. There's just no enemies for me to tornado. that would have tornado crew on besides this one. Oh well, here's some more. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. Four. You have to win first? Yeah. Okay. Five. I got stuck under here, so here I am. The lone Kirby's like, come on board with me! Six, seven, We're not flying anymore, Kirby. Eight. See, these challenges aren't that great, because it's literally just time consuming. But at least you know you can get them. Ten. Get them! Eleven, yeah. twelve. Thirteen. No, not thirteen yet. That's 13. 14, 15, and I'll just get another, like, one or two, just to make sure. Boom. Alright. You finish. I will do my I will do my best. I had always heard about callbacks, but I had never gotten one. one. <laughs> Honestly. Is that I what under theater is like, basically? Yeah. <laughs> theater, I didn't actually get a formal callback until probably this year. Oh, really? When I, Where they're uh, just like, we know you want, you want to do this. Like, well, oh, okay. I've gotten a formal callback before. Or, I, I thought, had always okay, heard about formal I've, callbacks. I've, I've gotten callbacks, callbacks before, before, but they were not called callbacks because they didn't want to make people like, ooh, if you got a callback, you'll get a part. So That's not they, a given anyways. It isn't a given, but a lot of people think it is when they're like, Oh, I got a callback. That must mean they like me. That must mean that I'm fabulous. We did Complete. it! We are done with you. So we checked off, for those of you who don't know, checked off, hit 20 or more rivals with your quick spin, because I don't know how you would do that. Machine passageway time attack and under that 250 on Rex Wheelie, that's really hard. Checker Knights time attack. If you have to check off anyone, that's check the that one, one you check off. It's bad. Glide for more than an hour. We only checked that off because we didn't want to spend an hour gliding in here. We. And then air ride checker nights two laps in under that amount of time. That's really tight. Although in hindsight, we probably could have done it. We probably could have, but we wanted to get it out of the way. All right, so that's it for air ride mode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next episode will be our last episode. We only have, we'll a, bunch, we have a bunch of stuff in city trial, and depending on how RNG goes, it could be quick. It could be not so quick. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. Until we meet again, everyone, have a great day and God bless.